This video lecture is part four in our dance bench dance tips. We're going to talk about the HALT method. So what does the HALT method do specifically? It shuts off the LED, which is the beak color, and the motors. So anytime you call HALT, the, the beak is no longer going to have a color and the wheels aren't going to turn. You can use the HALT method anytime you want, as often as you want in your code. It's especially useful if I'm pausing. So if I've done a sleep and then I want to, the finch robot to stop and do something else, it's helpful to have that halt in there. So it usually follows the sleep method. So, but pay attention to what the halt method does. So here I've got, I'm going to do a twirl, I'm going to turn the beat color blue, I'm going to twirl, I'm going to halt, I'm going to twirl again. So let's just watch this little video of this particular code. Now could you tell when it twirled the first time that the beak was blue? And then after the halt, it twirled again, but the beak had no color because the halt stopped everything. I started the wheels again, but I didn't start the beak again. So just kind of realize that this is a byproduct of halt, is that it does stop those things and it's not going to start them again unless you specifically call it. So to avoid unwanted results, just be aware of where you're using the hot method and what it's going to affect after it. If you want the beak to have color, you might have to call it more than once following a halt method. And you can also put it inside a loop. So here's a couple of examples. So here's from the first one. I turned it blue. I have the halt. Now I'm going to turn it red before I do a halt again. So you just might have to be called the beak color more than once if you want to keep having beak color. I'm also, if I have a halt in a for loop, then I can do the color inside that for loop as well. So it's going to start, stop, start, stop, but I will see some kind of blinking color and it'll look nice.